let's talk about Ryzen. So trying something a little bit different today and all the news right now is about Ryzen and Ryzen's, uh, well all the leaks that are happening right now. It is probably the worst time to buy a computer because Ryzen should be presenting such a good value. But hey, it's that time of the year again where all the Ryzen hype is happening and this time, you know, there's definitely a lot more hype than usual for it given everything that's been coming out with uh, with stating that it's going to be competing with the, uh, with the uh, basically Intel in its current form. It's finally going to close the gap and for the money, essentially, it's going to overtake Intel in practically everything. The one downside at this point is that it doesn't have Intel integrated graphics. So for content creators, that means no access to the hardware acceleration in Adobe Premiere, for example. But maybe down the line, when Intel releases their graphics cards, maybe they'll be able to re-add that feature back into it by getting a cheapy Intel graphics card. So hey, here's the hoping. Leaked reviews of the Ryzen 5 3600 is gonna peg that one, again, like the other Ryzen 5s, to be the value performance king of the group. So the leaked information has it coming in at roughly, what is it, um, the gaming performance of an i9-9900K, the multitasking performance of about a Ryzen 7 2700X, that's a really good spot to be in at the $200 mark, and I don't even believe that was overclocked, so that's really, really interesting. But all that is just leaks, rumors, stuff like that, so make sure you wait for all the reviews to come out to get all the information that you need on this one. With all that being said, I'm really looking forward towards the, uh, the Ryzen 9 3900. Man, the, the X. The 12 core, 24 thread for $500, that's insane. Now what I'm gonna tell you what I'm not looking forward to because all this brand new Ryzen talk, all this is good and all, but there is a downside. The downside is that the X570 boards are being overbuilt to such an extent that they're just gonna cost so much more money. They're gonna be a few under $200, which is gonna be nice, but they are definitely not gonna be the ones that you wanna put a 16 core Ryzen on there because uh, the VRMs probably won't be able to handle that, especially if you start overclocking. I've already seen one that's rumored to be costing under $200 that Buildzoid already doesn't recommend putting the 16 core on it. And if that's gonna be the fate of the X570 boards and the one downside to all this, you know what, I'll take it. Because you can still update the BIOS on the X470 boards and a good chunk of the B series, the, the previous gen motherboards. And those ones you can still get for decent prices. So if you end up with the Ryzen 5 or a Ryzen 3 that's coming out soon, uh, and you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on a motherboard, and you're okay with not needing PCIe 4.0 or some of the other advanced features, the X470 and other boards down the line, uh, down the stack that is, are definitely still something that are worth considering. We're losing light quick out here, I gotta make some adjustments. Adjustments made. All right, we're back. So, Ryzen, X570. Yeah, X570 boards are gonna cost a lot. Ryzen, wait for Ryzen, wait for reviews. Everything is looking great. I'm really interested to see what Intel answers with. The Intel, I believe, was at Sunny Cove. Laptop CPUs, the 10 nanometer CPUs that they're putting into laptops, I think starting this year, are very, very interesting because initial benchmarks on those have shown that under four gigahertz, they're already matching five gigahertz uh, of the desktop counterparts of the current Coffee Lake refresh um, architecture. So that's really, really interesting that you can be almost a gigahertz slower, but be matching them in IPC of the CPUs that are out in the mainstream desktop components uh, at that you know frequency difference. So what happens when 10 nanometer gets scaled into full consumer desktop speeds? That is gonna be insane they're gonna just over, overtake Ryzen again in terms of IPC, but with Ryzen competing so well in the price categories, the real question is, how is Intel gonna answer that? So do you guys plan on getting any Ryzen third gen stuff? Uh, is this something you guys have been looking forward to? Drop a comment down below if you plan on building 
with the upcoming Ryzen stuff, <laughs> how excited you might be. Let's talk Ryzen, let's talk Intel. What would you like to see from Intel after this? What would you like to see from AMD after this? Drop me a comment, let's talk about it. Go on over to our Discord, join us there, we can talk more there and uh, follow a new link that we had in our upload defaults. It's a Twitter account for the tech fam. So there's gonna be a lot more of us talking about Ryzen uh, this coming week and next week. And it'd be nice if you guys check out all the other tech fam's channel. So yeah, make sure that you guys check out all our channels and make sure that you guys get a good handle on the information that's gonna be coming out on Ryzen so you can make the best purchase that you possibly can for whatever budget you have. This is Chris Coalition Gaming. I hope you guys like this video and we'll see you in the next one. Let's hit that subscribe button by the way. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Bye.